Today I am sorting BTS into their Hogwarts houses and I know that it's already been done by RM in 2017. And they've been living together, they are friends and that sorting was probably accurate, but I still had this urge to release since I saw the sorting. So for quite some time haha. Ha. In this video I will sort them based on their on camera personas and maybe analyze a bit why RM put his bandmates in the houses that he did. Also, topics of Harry Potter and BTS are very enjoyable, when you combine them it's pure delight. Let's go. Let's start with the youngest one. And he is a Gryffindor. I don't know why but I feel like it would be similar situation as it was with Draco when Hat didn't even touch his head and shouted Slytherin but with Jungkook it would be Gryffindor. As this youngest one, he likes to tease his bandmates and is mischievous. If Taehyung and Jaimin were sorted into this house, all three of them would be like James, Sirius and Lupin. I don't know why but I get the same energy from them. He's energetic and full of life, in Hogwarts he would be as popular as he is now in BTS. With his passion for exercise, he would probably be a Quidditch player. Most likely a seeker. Because he would be the chosen one, the main one in there. And of course I see why RM put him in Ravenclaw, he is creative, but he used to be so shy in his young Bankton days, and now he's so confident. This character development is inspiring actually. And in my eyes, it's part of being a lion heart. J-Hope, the sunshine, the hope of BTS. I am confused right now because I want to put him in two houses and one of them is Slytherin. Now don't let his fear of snakes stop you from considering putting him in the house of snakes. On camera he has this bright persona, but you can easily tell it's a mask. Even his BT21 character is wearing a mask. People are so dual. And so is he, he loves to entertain and make others laugh. His passion for dance is overflowing. When he teaches dancing he completely changes. That is why I wanted to put him in this house. He's ambitious and prideful but I feel like Hufflepuff can be like that too. Because they have passions and dreams too and want to achieve them obviously. This does not apply only for Slytherin of Gryffindor, but I feel like Hufflepuff is more aware of other people's dreams and Hufflepuff encourages everyone, they are more gentle, while Slytherin is more like knowing that other people have ambitions and dreams but they are still going to get on top of the mountain first. You feel me? So he would fit in both houses but he would thrive more in Hufflepuff's environment. Next we have the sorter himself and he wrote that he is a Gryffindor even though he is a textbook representation of a Ravenclaw. It is nothing new. He is a smart one, it is exciting to see how good he is with words, languages and music and I don't he want to put all the Ravenclaw stereotypes but he makes it hard not to do so. He is the leader, creative mind behind a lot of BTSS songs gave that UNICEF speech that was great by the way. Honestly, I feel like he is living that Melbourne Ravenclaw's dream. But if he wants to be a Gryffindor, he can pull a Hermione any day, because all that matters is what you value the most. Next is Jaimin and at first glance he's a typical Hufflepuff. He is there to hold your hands and hug you when you are sad or cold. And honestly, you are torn between wanting a friend like Jaimin and being like Jaimin. Because everyone needs this amazing and caring person beside them but also you want to be that person that shines as bright as he does all the time. He is that friendly, easygoing friend, cute, very cute, but don't let that fool you because I completely agree with RM and I've put him in Slytherin. His eyes are full of flirt and sass and once you see it, you can't unsee the slither inside of him. It seems like he is in competition with himself all the time, we all know that story that happened few years ago, when he wasn't satisfied with himself and he wanted to become better, worked even harder, that's ambition. And he wanted to become one of BTS visuals and he did it. The next thing is just for fun and games but he is still the first one to be born in Pusan you know. 
동구 요즘 맨날 저를 따라해요. 부산에서 제가 먼저 태어났는데 걔 태어났지. 부산에서 내가 먼저 태어났지. I love your smile. Wow. Yeah. Finish. I love your everything. Everything. I love your I love your I love your face when you dance. Oh, finish. <laughs> Let's finish. Let's finish this relationship. Thank you. As you have seen in this video, he loves to receive compliments, and that one time when Yungi said that he loved his singing voice the most, he really felt that. As an entertainer he lives for those cheers and applause, and looks like he is enjoying this slavish lifestyle the most. Of course it's not only for entertainers, but for humans in general being well received, loved, accepted are ones of the most amazing feelings. It keeps us wanting more. My last point is that, when he dances, he catches your attention almost all the time and that's some slither and power right there. As much as he gives attention to others, he demands it for himself too, and that's completely normal. I love that he breaks the bad slither in stereotype, but also, I feel like this inspired me way too much and I should be moving on before this video becomes way too long. <laughs> Sugar. He is a slither in, we all know this, for same qualities as J-Hope, he loves music and it shows. Taehyung even said that he likes his rap the most and I completely agree it's so different every time. When you write these hip hop songs you have the ability to write a great story, simply because there is so much words, and he uses this power well. Today's music lacks emotion and is losing its spark. Yoongi made me appreciate rap because he makes it meaningful, now I'm not saying that every song should be deep or about sad and dark topics. Not every BTS's song is like that, but we still need more meaning. That's it. In his solo songs he wrote about his mental health and that's brave, could be a gry find or trait but he has that dark sly therein twist to him. And it does not matter if he writes dark lyrics or cute songs, he always delivers. He believes in himself and his group because he knows they are going to get it all and what is lovely that he is showing off his charms nowadays, looking fresh in his good state of mind, being funny and stuff, he is not that stereotypical slither in these days. Okay, for me it's so hard to read this man. With all his dad jokes and friendly, happy demeanor you really want to throw him in Hufflepuff, that's the easiest way I guess but we don't want to go just the easy way. It feels that you can have a great laugh with him and he wouldn't be offended, he is natural at being MC and is not defined by only his age. RM sorted him is Gryfind or alongside himself and even though it's hard to see past that entertaining persona of his, you still can see that he's logical, responsible and strong after all the hate that he received being a part of BTS, so he could be a Gryfind or two that's for sure. Also, for some reason I see him as herbology teacher. I don't know why but I have this burning picture in my mind and it's great. RM sorted him in Hufflepuff and few year ago I would have done the same. But these days, he's so mature, and of course you can be a mature Hufflepuff but there is something different about him now. He is still friendly and adventurous but I feel like he's grown to a very strong raven claw now. We have no idea if he was always like that and just turned this side of him down or he just recently found so much comfort in art and creativity. He is a little bit like Luna Lovey Good in all the best ways because she is amazing. It looks like he lives in his own world, when he goes on V lives, you can hear the kind of music he appreciates, his passion for photography shows as well as his passion for fashion you know and his recent song and video for Winter Bear is just so Ravenclaw. Even though he is so masculine on the outside, he has interests associated with feminine energy, so it's always nice to find a man like this. On stage he is powerful but off stage he has this calming aura around him. Ballads that he sings suits his voice and has the same aesthetics that he has now. Haha <laughs> okay. That is it. Bye.